Well, hello and welcome to the Mystic Soul Vine. This is Etta, and uh, I'm back again to do another video on the 12 signs of the zodiac. And today we will be talking about Scorpio. Okay, uh, but before we get into it, I would just like to ask you all if you would please hit the subscribe button and hit the like button and hit the notification bell so when I upload other videos, you all will be notified. Thank you so much. And I hope everyone is doing well on today and enjoying this beautiful snow. I'm sitting here today looking out my patio window, uh, looking at the snow coming down. So it's, it's beautiful and I've been enjoying my days off. So I hope you all have been doing the same. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get right into it, okay? Uh, I can really relate to this sign because I am Scorpio, okay? That's my sign. Uh, my birthday is November the 11th. And so, um, now the year for Scorpio, oh, I'm sorry, the dates for Scorpio is from October the 23rd through November the 21st. Now, Scorpios, um, we are creatures of passion. Now, we are mysterious and we're fearless and we're deep and very intense. Okay? So, you know, Scorpio, as you know, we go through a lot, we go through several transformations through our lives so you know we go through those but we always rise up like the phoenix you know um so that's one thing uh about scorpio um you know scorpios is one of the most powerful signs in the zodiac so uh i'm i'm proud to be one of those powerful signs okay but um like they said it comes with <laughs> Yeah, it comes with tests. You have to go through the tests and go through the transformations to come out on the other side. Okay. Now, um, now Scorpio. Uh, now, now I'm gonna tell you something. We can be ruthless. You know, we can be ruthless, and um, and and Scorpios are very perceptive, and we enjoy investigating. You know, uh, uh, aspects of all uh, human nature. You know, that's just us. Uh, Sometimes we be suspicious of others, and then like me, I'm I'm very intuitive. I can tell when someone is lying. I can tell if someone is uh, going through some type of situation because I can feel it. You know, Scorpio. You know, I'm a feeler. You know, and I'm also an empath. So I'm I'm very intuitive when it comes to uh, things of that nature. And many, you know, Scorpios are because we are intuitive sign. Okay, and um, we have an excellent memory, especially if somebody do something to us that we don't like. Oh, yeah, we ain't going to forget that, okay? <laughs> kind of like elephant on that end. But anyway, yeah, we don't forget too quick, okay? Uh, now, Scorpios are uncompromising. Um, when, a, uh, when, a comment is, when, a, when a comment is made, it kind of sticks into their head, just like what I said before. Um, now, Scorpios have a magnetic uh, charisma. We're very magnetic. We, uh, for some reason, people are uh, drawn to us, you know, uh, because we have that magnetic personality. Okay, and uh, Scorpios are, are deep. Like I said, we're deep, 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 and intense. And we can be deep sexually as well, you know. And it can be good or it can be bad, you know. But it depends on the Scorpio. It depends on what's all in that Scorpio's chart. Okay. Uh, because uh, just because a person is a Scorpio, you know, yet and still, we can have different traits because everyone is different. You know, our placements in the zodiac, uh, our placements in our natal chart, you know, everybody's placements is different. So each Scorpio can be somewhat different from another Scorpio, but it depends on the placements in the chart, okay? So the traditional associations that, uh, that, 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 uh, uh, so that goes with Scorpio. Now our colors is a deep red and uh, a deep dark red or black. And I love black. I wear black pretty much all the time. That's my color. I love black, and I love like deep red garnets. Got that garnet red and things of that nature. I like red lipstick too. You know. So now the tarot card is the death card, um, in which that's the number thirteen card. The death card, which is the transformation card. Now the flower is the uh, um, um, Amarius. I never heard of that. Now the uh, burst, the birthstone is opal and turquoise. Now I um I've also know uh, also well I've also know that topaz is a uh, birthstone for um, 
Scorpios as well. But I guess it depends upon, you know, the person who's writing or whatnot. But anyway, again, the animals that associate with Scorpios are the scorpion, the eagle, and the lizard. Okay. Now, the herbs uh, that's related to the Scorpio is witch hazel. Uh, foods is meat and spicy foods, and this me. Long as I can get me some meat, I'm good. I look, you know, I can I can do well with uh, give me some meat and some vegetables. I'm good to go. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the uh, Scorpio men's. Now I'm gonna just name off some of the famous Scorpio men's: uh, uh, Leonard DiCaprio, Drake, Future, Sean Combs. Matthew McConaughey, Vanilla Ice, and Nelly. And that was surprising to me because I didn't know Nelly was a Scorpio, but when I looked at his picture, and um, he has those piercing eyes. And that's one another feature about uh, Scorpios. They have those piercing hypnotic eyes, you know, so we can hypnotize you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, we do have those hypnotic eyes okay and now we're going to go in and talk about the scorpio man now the scorpio man has now they has very strong features and those penetrating hot, uh, hypnotic eyes now if you look at leonard dicaprio eyes just look at his eyes how piercing they are and also Drake, I looked at his eyes. Hey, he had some piercing eyes as well. Pretty much now, Sean Combs, you know, he wear glasses all the time, pretty much. But like uh, Matthew McConaughey, McConaughey, he has piercing eyes as well. So that's one feature about the Scorpio, those piercing eyes, okay? <laughs> all right, and um, the men's, we're still talking about the men's here. Uh, they said most of the men's have uh, body hair, you know, thick body hair on their bodies, uh, heavy eyebrows that, uh, what they call like the unibrows, sometimes the eyebrows may go together. And they walk with confidence and, uh, the, and confidence, you know, because they're very confident and uh, they make those perfect, uh, per, uh, perf purposeful steps. I can't talk today. <laughs> and now they usually have a very broad, uh, well muscular chest, and the and the sex appeal is usually obvious. Now, you know, by me being a Scorpio, I never, if I met a Scorpio man, I never, I never come across a Scorpio man. I would like to meet one uh, because of you know what I'm reading about them. Uh, you know, I would, I would really love to meet a Scorpio man because they seem to be really sexy. <laughs> okay. Um, and they have strong opinions as well. Now, uh, Scorpios, not, uh, again, like I said earlier, they're fearless, and they uh, and they can confront you, you know, with the, uh, confront others with the truth. Uh, now, they are the master of, the, you know, they're the master of their own destiny. And if you look at it, just think about Drake. Just think about Leonard Di, uh, Di, DiCaprio. Think about Matthew McConaughey. All these men has, you know, are very successful men. You know, they they paved their way. They made it. You know what I'm saying? They they have uh, they you know they're they're living in their destiny right now. They're doing very well. Okay. Um, they uh, they like to explore the fruit, the uh, full range of human uh, the human desire, even including the darker side. Okay, Scorpios have the potential to transform uh, transform their nature, and um, the ch and and the changes each time emerge uh, emerge wiser and more whole, which can be very testing, but are part of the evolution. Yeah, that's the part of the evolution of a Scorpio. I can't, I can't tell you all the things that I've been through and came out on top. You know, it's we're we're a strong sign. I I just have to tell you that. Excuse me, I'm drinking some tea here on this cold day. Okay, so um, let's see. And they love sharing their intense emotions in their relationships. Okay, and they need a woman who can handle who can handle their powerful blend of passion and control. Okay, now we're gonna go to the Scorpio women, and I'm gonna name some Scorpio women, uh, some famous Scorpio women. Now, one is Katy Perry. Willow Smith, which is Will Smith, Will and Jada Smith's daughter. Sierra, she's a beautiful lady. 
um, Eve. Now, that was surprising. I didn't know Eve was a Scorpio. Gabrielle Union. I didn't know she was a Scorpio. Julia Roberts and Demi Moore. Uh, these are the famous Scorpio women. Now, now the typical uh, Scorpio women is sultry and well aware of her sex appeal. Uh, their magnetic eyes that commands attention with the, uh, with the body which is real curvy and strong. Okay, Scorpios have that sixth sense. You know, we have, like I was telling you earlier, I, I, I have that sixth sense. I can read others. You know, we just, that type, that's why we do good mostly being psychics because we're um, uh, very uh, intuitive. We can read people. Uh, you know, that's why, you know, like I said, many Scorpios are psychics and do tarot cards and things of that nature. Okay, a uh, Scorpio woman, a uh, Scorpio woman, a uh, exclude confidence and in control and careful not to let her guard down. She's always on guard and I'm the same way. Okay. And they take full responsibility for their action and we answer to no one. That's why, you know what? That's why many Scorpios have to do their own thing because we don't like answering to other people. We like to have our own and do what we want when we get ready because that's just, you know, that's just our nature. I hate people telling me what to do, and, and, and that's just that Scorpio nature. We don't want nobody telling us what to do, okay? And so um, um, they have a passion and talent uh, that can be difficult to decide which way, you know, what to focus on, okay? And, um, and Scorpio women, now they're tough and resilient and yet extremely feminine. You know, yeah, we can, we can be tough. We can put these fists up here, but yet and still we can still be feminine. <laughs> I'm just having a little fun, y'all. Okay, um, you can be very, uh, we can be very uh, choosy when it comes to relationship, and that's that's so true. I um, I would just have to say that I met this guy. He was an Aquarius, but you know, after being with him for a minute, I was like, no, nah, uh, -uh no, nah. I'm because you know, water and air don't really go together anyway. But I, I was just. Um, you know, going with him until I got his information to read his chart. And after I read his chart, I was like, no, nah, we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna make it. So, <laughs> uh -oh. so we, I just had to let this fly by. But yeah, we're very choosy, very choosy when it comes to, uh, relationships. Okay. So Scorpios like to, now this is our dress style. Scorpios like to wear clothes that emphasize their natural, uh, make, uh, magnetism. Okay. And we like to be comfortable um, with uh, uh, with us. Uh, we like to be comfortable, but yet it still looks sexy. Now, like I said, dark clothes are our favorite. We love dark clothes, the black, dark reds. I like burgundies. You know those dark, rich colors. You know burgundy, garnet red. You know things of that nature. Okay. And Scorpio women enjoy looking glamorous and sexy, most definitely. Okay, and uh, we like to follow our own our own rules where trends are concerned. Like I was saying earlier, you know that's that's just the way we are. And when we're relaxing, like I said, we like to wear loose fitted uh, clothing, but yet it's still with a little sexiness to it. Okay, and uh, for a hot date, now oh God, for a hot date, baby, we do it up. <laughs> It's all about sex of this. When I go out on a date, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna make sure I got the right jewelry, the right clothes, the clothes gotta fit right, you know, all that to bring out this sexiness uh, uh, in us, and that's just the way we are. Now for work, um, we are where you know. Uh, now let's see. Hold on, let me make sure I'm on the right page here. Okay, let's see. Okay, now this here is most for men's. Now for work, they now men's the Scorpio men's they love to uh, wear a well cut suit with the best designer label that they can afford. And I'm gonna tell you something. What turns me on more than anything is a man in a suit that is well fitted. Oh, I love it. I love it. That's just oh, just so sexy to me when a man is in a nice suit and he's groomed and well you know well groomed and everything so uh, that's the way those scorpio men like to be okay now in uh, 
in their leisure hour, um, they do wear like casual clothing, um, you know, but yet it's still kind of stylish to max to maximize their charisma. Okay. Now for the um, we're gonna talk about the Scorpio's health for right now. Now Scorpios, we have a great deal of stamina, uh, and we're highly uh, resilient um, when it comes to our health. Okay. And uh, some of the uh, illness that uh, Scorpios may experience is psychosomatic, you know, in the mind, okay? In original relating to the uh, black energy that's in our lives. And that's true, because when I was in a marriage for 25 years to a narcissist, I just stayed, I, it was just one thing after another with my health, because I was in that narcissistic relationship and it was just, it was, it was horrible, but I made it through it. That's why I said transformation. We can go through some stuff. Not saying others can't, but I'm talking about Scorpio right now. Scorpio is a tough sign. You know, I've, I've, I've did, things have happened to me that if I would tell you all, you wouldn't believe it. They, uh, you know, and I'm sitting here right now in which many people probably wouldn't be sitting here. So we go through some tough transformation, you know. So that's why they said we are one of the strongest signs in the zodiac, okay? All right, so let's see. Now, it's very important. Now, Scorpios are prone to nervous tension. And so it's very important that we do a lot of relaxation uh, exercises um, like yoga, uh, getting massages and things of that nature. Uh, it's very important, and then we have to do a lot. We have to go through detoxing too, because it's very important that Scorpios detect, uh, det I'm sorry, detox their body, and uh, and and you know, because it's that. Like I said, that's very important. We have to keep a clean system. We have to keep, you know, that's why it's not good to be in in relationships that's stressful and things of that nature, because it will take you through the ringer, you know. So, uh, in order to uh, to come out of that, you know, you you have to, you know, take care of yourself. You have to take care of yourself. First of all, you have to get out of those bad relationships. Okay. Um, and let's see. And that's it now. As far as the lifestyle of a Scorpio. Uh, excuse me. Uh, now, as far as the uh, lifestyle of Scorpio, we like privacy. I'm so private. I'm a, mostly an introvert, to be honest. Let me drink some of my tea. I like to be by myself. I mean, most Scorpios do. You know, most, Scorpio, most Scorpios do like to be by themselves. Um, and, they want, and they want to be in a place that's comfortable. Um, a place to where they can unwind and not be disturbed. Um, and, and we're in, oh yes, we're fond of old buildings. I love older buildings. I love like those old Victorian homes and and uh and things of that nature because I said one day I'm gonna get me one. I want to get me an old Victorian home and just remodel it because I love the structure of it. I love the old the those um uh the wood that you know the crown molding you know some of it is in the other in like the wood floors in there you know like you can't find in other homes. I love old buildings and um and, and that's what uh, Scorpios we lack. Um, we lack older, uh, older homes. Anything that's old that holds tradition, you know, things of that nature. Okay, so let's see here. You know, any type of building with characters. You know, we we love that. And and we can be quite sensitive to a, to atmosphere as well. You know, I can walk in a room. That's why I I, I don't too much like going out to to big events. Because I can walk in a room and I can feel the energy, you know, is especially if it's bad, you know, whether it's good or bad. And I, I just sometimes I, I don't like being in big crowds really because it's about me being an empath and I, I be picking up all that energy. I really have to guard myself most time. If I go out to places like that, I have to protect myself. Okay, so we are very sensitive to atmosphere. To the atmosphere, you know, uh, the atmosphere of the people that are around us. Very sensitive. Okay, uh, let's see. And like when we get a home, when we go to purchase a home or an apartment, we're not going to get it unless it feels right. It feels good. So it's just like me when I when I got this home here. 
Oh, I loved it. And when I, when I stepped into the yard, I knew this was the place for me. It had a big backyard, had a patio. Like right now, my big patio window, because I love light flowing in. And, it, and I'm sitting here now looking out in my backyard, just looking at the snow. And I love, I, I love that. So it have to, when we go to, like I said, when we go to purchase a home, it have to feel right. It have to be the right place for us because if not, we're not going to get it. Okay. Uh, now, some Scorpios do prefer to live in the country. They like to be out in nature. Uh, around the water since we're water sign uh, you know we like to be around lakes uh, ponds and things of that nature because that's me one day I do because I uh, that's what I was born in the country and I really want to go back one day and uh, buy me a home out there and build me a home because I love the country I love nature okay um, let's see here uh, mm -hmm. oh yeah when it comes to decorating our home um, we like we like those strong, vi uh, vibrant colors, uh, predominantly dark colors, because it's just like now my living room set is black with, uh, with, um, with colorful pillows. So we do, we like those dark, um, dark colors, uh, rich fabrics such as silk, velvet, um, and, uh, nice curtains and drapes and things of that nature. Um, and we love tasteful pictures as well. You know, photographs, um, uh, paintings, you know, things of that nature. Now, Scorpio, um, they do have a need for self-preservation. Um, and we're very careful with our finances. We, you know, and that's, you know, you, you yes, <laughs> very careful with the finances, you know, because, um, you know, I, when I pay my bills, I make sure, see what my balance is in my account. So I make sure I won't get no, you know, uh, Overdraft charges, so yeah, we are very uh, conservative when it comes to our money, but yet and still, we lack quality. We lack, you know, we like to look nice, you know, like me. Uh, I love quality stuff. I love kind of old antiquish, you know, things uh, as well. Like I said, stuff with character, you know, whether it be clothing, uh, home, jewelry, or whatnot. Okay, all right. So let's see here. Let's see, Scorpios really enjoy spending and love uh, uh, wealth pro provides. That's right. We we do like to spend money, um, you know, and we and we look to be wealthy, you know, um, and many Scorpios are, and that's my that's my dream, you know, to be wealthy. I want to be wealthy, and I am going to be wealthy because I'm working on it now. I'm going to be wealthy, and so we love, you know, to. Uh, we love to, like I said, spend money you know, on nice things, you know, quality things. Uh, if it don't have any quality to it, I really don't too much want it, okay? Um, Scorpios like to keep quiet. Uh, and, uh, okay, like I said that earlier, we like to keep uh, a, a tight control on our finances, you know. Um, we like to make successful investments. And uh, we take risks. I've, I've taken risks before, you know, I've, I've taken risks and most Scorpios, you know, they don't mind taking risks, you know, most definitely we will take risks, okay, and um, the many Scorpios consider running a business and being self-employed, yes, that's me, because I'm, I'm trying to get, I'm working on getting out of the rat race right now, it's time, <laughs> I'm working on getting out of the rat race because, like I said earlier, men and Scorpio, we don't like nobody telling us what to do. You know, we like to have our own. And I will, and I am, I am, I have my own right now. Okay, I'm manifesting it right now. Okay, um, let's see, we are born survivors. Oh, yes, we are born survivors. Like I said, I done been through the fire, baby, and then came out on the other end as pure gold. Okay, one day I'm going to write a book and I'm going to tell y'all. <laughs> we go through the fire. We go through the trials. We go through the transformation. But we come out as pure gold. Okay? All right. And uh, as far as exercising, uh, many Scorpios like to run. They like to do marital arts, aerobics, swimming, scuba diving, things of that nature. Um, now, like me, I... Um, I like I like walking in nature. 
I like going to the gym. I like lifting weights. It didn't have that in here, but that's what I like to do. But I do aerobics as well because uh, uh, that's what I like to do because I'm very conscious about my body. I want my body to look a certain way. And so I like to hit the weights because I like for my clothes to fit me right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what I like. Okay, so uh, Scorpios at play. Now, it says here many Scorpios like to go out to bars and nightclubs and uh, and live that party life. But, you know, I did in my younger days, but now I don't do that. You know, but, you know, I have had my time in the nightclubs and... You know, I've never been a per big person to go to bars, but I used to go to nightclubs back in the day. So, um, and I, I will go out now. I would like to go out to, you know, maybe a nice jazz club or something like that. You know, something laid back <clears throat> with a nice, you know, with a, with a, with a companion. <laughs> with a nice companion. Maybe a Scorpio companion. <laughs> nice chest. Ooh. Penetrating eyes. Very lovely, right? <laughs> okay, so uh, let's see. Let's see. Now, many Scorpios like to read and watch TV. Um, they like good food and drinks, especially when you share with others. There's nothing like it. Uh, Scorpios love anything to do with uh, crime and detect detection, mystery, and occult. And it's like me, like if I, you know, and where we are, we're, we're mysterious. And if it's something that I'm curious about, I'm going to go and do the research on it. I, you know, try and find out what it, what it, what is it to this? Why is this this way? You know, why, why, why? You know, I'm going to dig, dig, dig until I find the answer that I'm looking for. And, and that's the way Scorpios are. Okay. All right. So let's see. Okay, now, now uh, this is another thing about Scorpios. We kind of, we're very private, you know. We're very private. We don't like to, uh, to, to, uh, we, we like to keep our thoughts to ourselves. Um, I'd be very mindful if I tell somebody something, you know, I'd be very mindful about what I tell people um, because, you know, sometimes you just can't trust everybody and, and so... You know, Scorpio is very private, and, and I can say that's true because I'm a very private person. Uh, now, I'm, I emotional, our emotions are powerful, and, um, and um, we enjoy feeling, uh, feeling that uh, we are under control. You know, we're, we're very powerful, and we like to be in control of uh, situations, okay? Um, many Scorpios get depressed uh, without actions and need to live. At a pace that is emotionally charged, and that's true. It's like it's like me. Uh, I'm in the insurance industry. I do insurance. I've been doing it for about five years. Before then, I owned a salon. Uh, did you know? Did hair for years, and um, and now it's like I'm coming to um, I'm coming to a, a part of my life into where I'm ready to do my spiritual work. So now it's time for me to get out of the insurance industry because, first of all, I don't like sales. I got into it because I needed the money. I was going through a divorce at the time. I needed that excess income to be able to take care of myself. But it has caused me a lot of stress, you know, um, these five years. And it's very important that Scorpios do Whatever their what's what's on their heart, you know, whatever it is that they desire to do is very very important because they'll be more productive, they'll be you know more happier uh, with themselves, and then when you do what you love, you feel you know you 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 feel good about it in your in your heart, you know. So um, that's very important um, about Scorpios. Uh, we have to uh, do what feels good and feel right to us, you know, feel like, you know, to give us that feel is feeling of satisfaction, you know, uh, that we're doing our life work. Okay. So, okay. Now we're going to get to the perfect matches. Oh, perfect matches. Okay. Number one is cancer. And boy, I have to say that's true. I know one cancer and, uh, yeah. He was committed to somebody else, but oh my goodness. Ooh, 
Let me move to the next, okay? Capricorn. Next, I deal with a Capricorn too. Good, good. Capricorns are good, you know, very good. Taurus, I never deal with a Taurus. The Taurus is, uh, is number four, it's next. Okay, Virgo, number four. I was married to a Virgo. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, Pis uh, Scorpio, Scorpio and Scorpio, okay? Pisces and a Scorpio makes a good match. So all of these, Cancer, Capricorn, and uh, uh, number five, those are the highest. And I'm going to manifest me a, a Cancer man. I am. I am. I'm going to manifest me one. I got to have one. Okay, and a uh, Capricorn is number five. Taurus, Virgo, Scorpio, and Pisces are number four. Okay. All right, so uh, that concludes the end of uh, of Scorpio, and I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoyed making this video, and again, I want to ask you all if you would please subscribe to my channel, because I'm in the midst. Once I get through with these uh, zodiac signs, I'm, uh, I got some great uh, work that I'm planning on working on because I'm getting into my area of. Uh, of work and expertise so i have a lot of information good information that i want to share with you all and um so I, you know it's 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 very highly appreciative if you all would subscribe to my channel you know so i can build it up you know in and and get this get this work out here okay because uh, uh one of the biggest things in many of our lives is relationships and if I would have known what I know now, I probably would have chose a better mate. But I didn't know what I know now. You know, knowing who you're dating, knowing this person that you're dating, getting that information before y'all get real serious. Hey, baby, what's your, who were you born? You know, you know, you know what, what, what's your birthday? You look like a Leo. You know, stuff like that. Get that information, look up that chart. If you don't know how to do it, get somebody to do a compatibility chart and to see if you all uh, are a good match because I've wasted a lot of time uh, on on uh, men that were not the right uh, match for me, you know. So that's what I want to really share with people to keep people from going through those changes of heartache in pain you know going through those channels when you don't really have to you know that's what i want to do and that's what i'm gonna do that's what i'm working on now so um please like i said you know if you go ahead and subscribe you know this information i'm going to get this information out um it's, it's, it's coming out, but like I said, I, I promise I'm working on these 12 zodiac signs, so I'm, I'm on the eighth one now, so I got how many more? Four more to go, <laughs> but I'm going to get through it, though. It probably, I probably start maybe about sometime in March, um, it's coming out with this information as far as uh, uh, chart compatibility and things of that nature, okay? All right, now you all take care, be blessed, and have a wonderful day. Bye for now. Namaste.